Hi everyone! Today I'll show you how to make three different versions of the same artwork or design for your print-on-demand shop. A silhouette, a double exposure effect by combining two images and adding a gradient overlay. I'm using Photoshop CC 2020. If you don't have Photoshop, you can start a free 7-day trial. They also have student discounts and different offers if you want to buy a Photoshop subscription. I'll link those below in the description and on the video. And full disclaimer, they are affiliate links. In the last two videos, I showed you how to edit your scanned or photographed traditional artwork and how to remove the background. I'll start by showing you an even faster way of removing the background if it's just a plain white or other solid color background. So I'm opening my previously edited moth drawing in Photoshop and it has a solid white background which we need to remove to turn the moth into a silhouette. Choose the quick selection tool from the left toolbar, right click it to open the menu and change to the magic wand tool. You can also change the tolerance if the selection isn't perfect. And then just click on the background and Photoshop should select the whole background color that's connected to the spot you clicked on. I'm missing a little area between the antenna, so I'll make sure I have the Add to Selection option chosen in the top bar and then click on that area too to add it to the previous selection. If you have a more complicated background to remove, check out my video on removing backgrounds with Photoshop. When you're happy with the selection, let's remove the background. To create a transparent layer underneath the image, I'll right-click the image layer in the Layers tab and choose Duplicate Layer. Click OK and then click the eye icon of the bottom layer to hide it. This creates a transparent layer. Now make sure you have the top layer selected and then press Ctrl X to remove the background you selected with the Magic Wand tool and you can also undo with Ctrl Z if needed. To check that there aren't any stray pixels left over, I'll add a new layer from the plus sign on the bottom of the Layers tab, select a contrasting color in the color picker and then go to Edit, Fill, Background color, since I have the background color set to black in the color picker already. So now I have a black color underneath the image and it's easy to zoom in and check that there aren't any white pixels left where there shouldn't be. I'm then hiding the black layer by ticking off the eye icon next to it since I'm done with the black background. I'll save this version at File, Save As, as both PNG, which preserves the transparent background, and as a PSD file, which preserves the different layers to use later. Next, let's make the silhouette. Make sure the image layer is selected and then take the magic wand tool again and click on the transparent background so you'll have the transparent area selected. Then go to select inverse to invert the selection so you'll have the actual image selected instead of the background. I already have black selected in the color picker so then I'll go to edit, fill, background color to fill the moth with black. I'll again save this as PNG, so here you have a silhouette, but let's continue to double exposure and gradients. Next I'll do a double exposure effect on the moth. I'll go to File, Open and find the image I want to use. I'll go with this landscape painting. I'll drag it over on top of the moth drawing, make sure the top layer is selected in the Layers tab and then lower the opacity from the slider, so you can see the other image underneath and then move the top layer so it's covering the whole image underneath. Select the lower layer and use the Magic Wand tool again to select the transparent background. Then select the top layer and press Ctrl X to remove the area that's on top of the transparent background. Now you have a double exposure image and you can play with the opacities of both layers and even erase part of one of the layers. I want to fade out the landscape painting so that it's only covering the wings of the moth and I'll do that with the eraser tool. I'll make it softer and set the size in the toolbar, large and change the opacity to 100. I'll erase the part of the landscape that's on top of the head and top half of the moth to reveal the drawing underneath and leave a soft transition. 
You can make the seam less noticeable by lowering the opacity of the eraser tool and making a kind of a gradient between the landscape and the moth. You can also do an actual gradient between a color and transparency to achieve a similar effect. If you use gradients for POD, keep in mind that they might not print perfectly on fabric. Choose the gradient tool from the left toolbar and choose the two colors in the boxes with the color picker or you can use one of the ready-made gradients. And you can choose the shapes like radial or linear. Make a new layer from the plus sign below the layers tab for the gradient. Fill the new layer with the gradient by clicking the start and end points and then lower the opacity so you can see the other image underneath. Use the magic wand tool on the bottom layer to select the transparent background once again and then choose the gradient layer and press Ctrl X to remove the background. Now you're left with the gradient on top of the image and you can play with the opacity and use the eraser tool again to reveal more of the image underneath. And make sure you save both the PNG and PSD versions. For more image editing and print on demand tips, click on the videos on the screen. And stay tuned for more Photoshop tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.